Hi everyone. In this video we're going to be working on two topics. First topic is going to be how to convert from radians to degrees and degrees to radians. And then the next topic is going to be about how to find one positive and one negative coterminal angles. So if you're interested in finding coterminal angles, just look at information and it's going to tell you the minute and second that it begins. So how do you go from radians to degrees, degrees to radians? Well, only thing that you have to memorize is the fact that you're going to be multiplying by either 180 over pi or pi over 180. Now the reason why you're actually doing that is because in trigonometry pi means 180 and usually when something's in terms of pi it's in radians. So if it's ever in radians and you're trying to get to degrees you're going to multiply by 180 over pi and if it's ever in degrees and you're going to radians you're going to multiply by pi over 180. So let's go ahead and do a couple of examples. So in our first example they want us to turn our given degree into radians. Now what we're going to do is you know you're going to multiply by pi over 180 whenever you're pi. The question is, which one is it going to be? And this is a simple trick that kind of helps you out. I'm going to multiply this by pi over 180. Now, the reason why you can do this is because technically in math, in order for something to cancel out, like units, they have to be on opposite sides. So this is going to cancel out, which then leaves us in terms of pi. So what I'll do is I'll put this over 1, and the fact that it cancels out, that means it's, we set it up perfectly. I'm going to multiply across, and that's going to give me 30 pi over 180. And this is going to simplify using the calculator or just mental math to pi over 6. Now, one thing you're not going to do is you're not going to do 30 over 180 and simplify, and you're going to get a decimal. Radians is usually easier to work with if it's just a fraction. So just use a fraction button on your calculator if you're able to do so, or just simplify. So let's move on to the next one, 180. Well, 180 degrees, I know I'm going to multiply by pi over 180. Why? I need these little degree symbols to cancel out. Because they cancel out, that's perfect. I'm going to get 180 degree pi over 180. This simplifies to just give me 1, so I'm just left with 1 pi. So 180 degrees corresponds to pi in radians. Last one, 270. Pi over 180, I know I did it perfectly because these symbols are going to cancel out. I'll put it over 1, multiply across. I'm going to get 270 pi over 180. Now remember, you're not going to turn this in decimals, you're just going to simplify it. And when you simplify it, this is going to give you 3 pi over 2. So, how do we go from radians to degrees? Same thing, you're going to either multiply pi over 180 or 180 over pi. Now, if you look at your examples, you see how there's a pi in each one? That means I need that pi to cancel out. And the only way that pi is going to cancel out is if that pi is in the bottom. So that it cancels out. I'll multiply across, multiply across. I'm going to get 180 degrees over 3, and this simplifies to give you 60 degrees. Now for the next one, pi over 2. I want the pi's to cancel out, put it on the bottom, they cancel out perfectly. I'll multiply across. That's gonna give me 180 degrees over 2, which simplifies to give me 90 degrees. So pi over 2 in radians corresponds to 90 degrees. Last one, 2 pi. And hopefully you're seeing the pattern because for these type of problems, they're pretty simple once you get the hang of it. Cancels out, 2 times 180 is just gonna be 360 degrees. So 2 pi corresponds to 360 degrees. <clears throat> okay, so when you're going from degrees to radians, radians to degrees, you have to kind of look at what you want to get rid of, and you're either going to multiply by pi over 180 or 180 over pi. So then we get to how to find coterminal angles. But before you go ahead and find coterminal angles, you have to kind of understand what is a coterminal angle. Well, a coterminal angle is this. In trigonometry, our angles are on an x and y axis. It starts off on the x axis on the positive side, so somewhere here, and this is called the initial side. A terminal side is a side that you're moving all around the x axis to create that angle. So let's say our angle is in the second quadrant, something in here. Well, since our angle's here, we know it's between 90 degrees and 180. 90, 180. So, okay. So, our angle is here. Doesn't really matter. What is a coterminal angle? 
Well, remember, this is your initial side. The side that you move is called your term terminal angle. So no matter where, where it is on the X or Y axis, this is always your terminal side. So a coterminal angle is this. What do I have to move if I was right here in order to still end up at the same location, which is this line right here? Well, think of it as, as this, a real life example. If you're standing in front of a wall, what, how many degrees do you have to move in order for you to still stare at that same exact wall? Hopefully you're thinking 360 and that's perfect because if I move 360 in a positive direction, I'm going to end up in the same location. So that's what a coterminal angle is. Adding or subtracting 360 degrees and still ending up in the same location. I could have also subtract 360, which is going backwards and I'll still end up in the same location. That's what a coterminal ang angle is. So if your angle is ever in radians, you're gonna add or subtract two pi, because two pi is 360 in radians. Well, if an angle's in degrees, you're gonna add or subtract 360 degrees. So whenever you are asked, or whenever you see, find coterminal angles, you're gonna add or subtract two pi or 360, depending on what the unit is. So let's go ahead and do a couple of examples. Our first one is, find one positive and one negative coterminal angle. So my first thing is I see that they're in degrees. So I go, okay, well, let's find one positive. That means I'm probably gonna add 360, not always, but you're probably gonna add 360. And then if I add 180 degrees to 360, I'm gonna get 540. So that's my first positive coterminal angles. Now, if you think about it, is there more than one answer for this? Yeah, I can add 360 again and again and again, and I'll just get a bigger positive coterminal angle. So I'll subtract 360 this time because I want to find negative. And when I subtract 360, I'm going to get negative 180 degrees. And that right there is my positive and negative coterminal angles. But sometimes I might have to do it more than once. And that's what we're going to do in example B. Because if I add 410 degrees, I'm still going to get positive. This is actually going to add up to give me 770. So I find my positive angle. Well, what if what happens when we subtract? When I subtract, I get 50 degrees. And you're like, wait, but that's not negative, and I subtracted, and that's fine. Sometimes you're gonna have to subtract more than once. Now, your positive coterminal angle could have been either this or this, because remember, there's an infinite amount, because I can add 360s, subtract 360s, as long as it's positive, it's a coterminal angle. But because I don't have it, I have to subtract one more time. And that's gonna give me negative 310 degrees. And this is one negative coterminal angle, and you can either pick either or to for your for it to be your positive coterminal angle. So in the case that it happens to be that you have to add or subtract more than once, that's fine. Just do it until you get to act till you get to one positive and one negative angle. Now our last one. What happens when it's in radians? Well, when it's in radians, you're gonna add two pi and subtract two pi. So pi over four plus two pi. Now the one thing we have to remember is whenever you're adding fractions, you have to get an LCD, a least common denominator. So I'm gonna put one under that, and my LCD between four and one is four. So that means that I'm gonna multiply this by four, this by four, and my new equation is pi over four, or expression, plus eight pi over four, and then I'll combine them, top of top, that's gonna to give me nine pi, and the bottom's gonna stay the same, and this is my first positive coterminal angle. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna subtract now. Pi over four minus two pi, get an LCD, put over one, get an LCD, it's four, so times four times four, that's gonna be pi over four minus eight pi over four, and that's gonna simplify to negative seven pi over four. And that's my positive, that's my negative coterminal angle. The same rules that apply for three um, for degrees is the same rules that apply for radians you might have to add or subtract two pi more than once if it uh, requires you to do so. So last one, nine pi over three. I'm gonna add two pi. You're always gonna have to find an LCD. As long as you see the different denominators, you have to find an LCD. It's usually gonna be that one. Multiply, your, your new problem is nine pi over three minus six pi over three, top, top, it's gonna give you three pi over three, and this actually simplifies to just give you pi. So that's my one positive coterminal angle. Sorry, sorry, I made a mistake. Keep that adding, and that's actually 15 pi over three.
And then when you simplify it, that gives me 3 pi. Yeah. And then now find a negative coterminal angle. So that's going to be 9 pi over 3 minus 2 pi. Get an LCD, put over 1 times 3 times 3. That's going to give you 9 pi over 3 minus 3 pi over 3. Sorry, 6 pi over 3, 2 times 3, 6. And then that's going to simplify to 3 pi over 3, which gives you pi. But if you look at it, that is a positive coterminal angle. It's not negative. So guess what that means? That means that you have to subtract one more time. Pi minus 2 pi. And this one actually works out to be a little bit easier because I don't have to find an LCD. 1 pi minus 2 pi is negative pi. And that's my first negative coterminal angle. So in the case in this problem, I had to add 2 pi to get my coterminal angle. I got 3 pi. But when I subtracted 2 pi, it gave me 9 pi over 3 minus 6 pi over 3, which simplifies to just pi. But that's still positive, so I had to find a negative. So what do I do? I subtract one more time, and I got a negative. So either this one or this one could have been my positive coterminal angle. It doesn't really matter as long as you pick which one that's positive. And sometimes you're going to have to add 360 and subtract 360 or 2 pi more than one time. And if it does, that's fine. Just do it more than once, and eventually you'll start seeing the pattern. So thank you for watching. Hope to help, and let me know.